I'm here on day three of a industrial action by Deliveroo scooter drivers, cyclists. The major grievance is this, effectively you're going from a sub living wage, once you include costs and so on, to piecework. Now the works are saying that it's going to be £3.75 per job, on average they get about two jobs an hour. What they want is the living wage, plus costs included, now clearly that's different for scooter drivers and for cyclists, and tips, and then I think a pound per job on top of that. That's the demand. Already, overnight, just after two days of action, in response to yesterday, about 200, 150 workers being here, Deliveroo made an offer. It's been designed to enhance flexibility, which we know is important. You can log on, log off whenever you want, and work for however long you'd like in the new system. That's now been rejected by the delivery workers, and they're trying to generate a response and a counter proposal. We'll see how that goes down. Deliveroo have just secured over £200 million in investment. They're making record profits. They can afford to do this and they can afford to pay their drivers properly. There's so. more of us than there is of them and at the end of the day their profits rely on us. We make their profits for them. If they can't see that, if they're that blind, they're going to burn their company to the ground. Uber Eats will destroy them if this strike action continues. It's a private property. Unlike Uber, the delivery drivers have meeting points, so they're told to meet up, essentially to make it easier for them to get out to jobs so they arrive on time. And this means that people meet together, you know, they can discuss grievances, they can start organising. They're obscured behind a, you know, a very, a very well-designed app. People that, you know, you, do, you won't see unless you order a delivery. Coming together and showing that actually it is possible to organise in the, in the gig economy. And that not only are these people angry, but they're confident and it looks like they're going to make a major victory, which would be the start of something. What you're seeing here is emblematic of something far bigger. That is workers organising, responding to the gig economy, often through precisely the same technologies by which these companies have made incredible profits. Mobile telephones, real-time communications, and intersecting with offline meetups. It's working, it's effective. Can it deliver the goods? We'll have to find out.